Welcome to the presentation of this 2022 Sequential Magazine Award, sponsored by Strange Adventures Comics and Curiosities, proud supporters of indie comics in Canada. I'm Brendan Montgomery, the founder and editor-in-chief of Sequential Magazine. I've run these Canadian Indie Comic Awards since 2017 and they've grown in participation over the years. We take this opportunity to showcase our nominees and winners who've put out great comics in the past year in Canada. For those of you not familiar with us, Sequential Magazine is a volunteer-run magazine covering independent and self-published comics made by Canadian creators. Each issue is published in print and digital and includes interviews with creators, book reviews, and various other articles. We are just about to release our 14th issue in April at our very, at our very first TCAF. You can read free online or buy a print copy through the links at sequentialmagazine.ca. And stick around to the end of the video for a sneak peek at our next issue. I designed these awards to be as open as possible compared to other comic awards, which are either by jury only or only for professionals. So the selection process for these awards was as follows. We had an open call for submission from creators and the public in December. From there, myself and other magazine contributors reviewed the submissions to select those which we believed were the most diverse, deserving of recognition. This was a subjective call on quality and those we enjoyed reading. We strive for diversity amongst our nominees, but we are limited by which creators choose to participate or have worked this year to be recognized. Then we opened up our nominees to public voting in February for readers to have the ultimate say on the winners. We thank the over 3,000 readers who voted this year. A record number. You can learn more about all the nominees recognized in this video on Sequential Blog in the link in the description. So without further ado, here are the winners you selected. For the category of Best Comic Book, the nominees are Niobe Origins by Larry Diggins, Juan Antonio Ontiveros. Relatable Young Adult Mystery Comic by Fred Kennedy, Ricky Lima, and Noel Tuazon. Auric of God in Plastic by Mark Scheinblum and Dan Day. Witch Hazel by Colton Fox and Beige Bloom. Capsules by Leland Berg and Casey Posenkoff. These Damn Kids by Peter Bro, Bradley Golden, and Helmut Rancho. Bullet Adventures No. 1 by Jordan Alaska, Randy Stone, and Lara Kane. Group of Seven Comics No. 8 by Chris Sanigan and Jason Lapidus. And for Best Comic Book, third place goes to Auric, A God in Plastic. Second place goes to Capsules. And your winner for Best Comic Book is Witch Hazel. Here is their acceptance. Hey, I'm Beige. I'm the artist for Witch Hazel. I'd like to give a sincere thank you to everybody who showed up in support of our comic. Um, it's such an honor and thank you to those who have and continue to support us in all things Witch Hazel. Um, it means the world to me and we couldn't have gotten this far without you. So thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Colton Fox. Thank you so much for voting Witch Hazel to the top. And I'd like to announce for the first time that a brand new Witch Hazel is coming out in April for TCAF and Canzine. So I'm so excited for you to see what we've done. And thanks again, and I love you. For the category of Best Graphic Novel, the nominees are Sinosure by Jessica Pang, And We Love You by Fell Hound, Butterfly House by Troy Little and Brenda Hickey, The Witch of Wickerson by Derek Laufman, The Last Tide by Paratiaba and Shane Sandler. Scratcher by John Ward and Juan Romero. Siegfried Dragon Slayer by Mark Allard Will and Jasmine Redford. And Sleepwalkers by Danny Gorney and Greg Warrenchuk. So for Best Graphic Novel, third place goes to The Last Tide. Second place goes to Sinosure. And your winner for Best Graphic Novel is The Witch of Wickerson. Here is Derek's acceptance. Hey everyone, thank you so much for voting for Witcher Wickerson for Best Graphic Novel. Thank you to Sequential Magazine for holding these awards. And I want to say thank you to everybody for supporting Indie Comics. It means a lot to this industry. Thank you. For the category of Best Webcomic, the nominees are Soul to Call by Rami, Why Do Angels Scream by Stephen Charles Rosia and Gaia Cardinali, False Knees by Joshua Bartman, Power Nine by David Little and John Little. God Slave by Megan Carter. Poppy, the Girl Who Slept in 100 Years by Matthew Shun. Conceptual Heist by JDC, Matt Gagno, and Jenny Godin. 
Lobster Land by Anna Lothar. And for best webcomic, third place goes to Poppy the Girl Who Slept in 100 Years. Second place goes to God Slave. And your winner for best webcomic is False Knees. Here is Joshua's acceptance. For the category of favorite writer, the nominees are Mark Bertolini, Dino Caruso, Mark Scheinblum, Michael McAdam, Leland Greer, Roddy Williams. The third place for favorite writer goes to Dino Caruso. Second place goes to Mark Bertolini. And your winner for favorite writer is Leland Berg. Here is his acceptance. Sequential Magazine's favorite writer of 2022? This is so cool. Thank you. Thanks everyone that voted. Thanks to my amazing collaborators, Casey Posnikoff on Capsules and Josh Thompson and Gabriel Roldan on Berserker Monk. Um, I'm so stoked. Uh, for anybody who hasn't checked my books out who wants to, you can go to Linktree slash Leland Writes, get a copy of Capsules, or get a copy of Berserker Monk. Okay, thank you. For the category of Favorite Artist, the nominees are Scott B. Henderson, Robert Doan, Megan Carter, Dan Day, Sharon Goche, and Stephen Levy. So for favorite artist, third place goes to Scott B. Henderson. Second place goes to Sharon Goche. And your winner is Megan Carter. Here is her acceptance. Hi, uh, thank you so much for this award. Uh, I, I appreciate everyone taking the time and thought to vote for me as their favorite artist. It, it, it means a lot. And thank you to the Sequential Magazine for putting on these awards. Um, please check out my webcomic, Godslave, and please support trans people and trans comic artists. For the category of favorite cartoonists, the nominees are Haley Boros, Derek Laughlin, Debecca, Joshua Barkman, Matthew Daly, Rob Wersky. So for favorite cartoonist, third place goes to The Becca. Second place goes to Joshua Barkman. And your winner is Haley Boros. Here is her acceptance. Hi everyone, my name is Haley Boros. Uh, I'm your favorite cartoonist for 2022. I'd like to thank uh, Sequential Magazine and Strange Curiosities uh, for organizing the awards and many thanks to all my friends, family, and fans that voted for me as their favorite cartoonist. This is such an honor. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am today without the amazing support of all the creators I've worked with over the years as well. And thank you to my husband Jesse. You're my biggest supporter in my career and in life. Next are our last three categories. These did not receive many submissions for them, so they had less nominees. And we'll only be naming the winner or second to avoid hard feelings for the last place finisher. For the category of Best Graphic Novel Anthology, the nominees are Fantastic Frights, edited by Evan Waterman and Hannah Myers. Dead Work, edited by Adam Petrash. The Pop Terror Collection, edited by Dominic Percier. And your winner for Best Graphic Novel Anthology is Fantastic Frights. Here is Evan's acceptance. Hi, uh, my name is Evan. I am the editor from Fantastic Frights. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who showed up to vote and a massive congratulations to all the contributors to Fantastic Frights. You've all done an amazing job with this book. I'm, I'm incredibly proud of how it came out and it's really exciting for me to um, get to see all of you get the recognition that you absolutely deserve for such an amazing book. For all of you out there who are interested in learning more about Cloudscape's books, Fantastic Frights and others, um, you can find out more information at cloudscapecomics.com. Thank you. For the category of favorite colorist, the nominees are Chase Cantor, Dave Pretorius, Jessica Hu, 
Dominic Pertier. And in second place for favorite colorist is Dave Precorvis. And your winner for favorite colorist is Jessica Huyen. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm one of the colorists of Witch Hazel. I like to thank my friends and my family and everyone that voted for us. We really could not have done this without you. I'd like to give an especially big thank you to Beige and Colton for allowing me to join their team on Witch Hazel. It was super fun working with them. I'm so happy everyone's enjoying Witch Hazel and I can't wait to see what else they bring to us. Thank you so much. For the category of favorite letterer, the nominees are Jeff Martin, Andrew Thomas, Stephen Leggy, Michael McAdam. And the second place for favorite letterer is Stephen Leggy. And the winner is Andrew Thomas. Here's his acceptance. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Uh, beyond humbled and thrilled to be accepting this award. Uh, thank you so much to my family, my friends, colleagues, everyone who took the time out to vote. Uh, I really appreciate it. Your support means the absolute world to me. Um, a big congratulations and shout out to the other winners and nominees. Uh, your dedication and hard work to the craft of Canadian comics is is awe inspiring. Um, so great job all around uh, to you guys, and thank you Sequential Magazine for um, all the hard work and dedication that you guys do for spotlighting and advocating Canadian comics. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you later. Thank you everyone for voting in this year's awards. That's it for our winners, but be sure to check out all of our nominees' comics. All the info is on sequentialpulp.ca in our voting post and soon to be a post about our winners. As promised, here is a sneak peek at the next magazine issue. Here is the cover by our feature creator Giselle Lagasse from New Brunswick. It shows her Pixie Tricks comics characters from her webcomic series. Thanks for watching and I hope you continue to support our Canadian indie comics creators.